All righty, everyone. So let's have some fun. Everyone in this room has a name, and our names represent our identity, our cultural origins, history, and I believe our worldview and future. So my name is Eri Kanaboto Takuto, and I run a, an, an international network called Kin. It enables every single one of you in this room to access the people and information and resources you need at any given point in time around the world. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about the names behind the people of this network. Every single day, I interact with amazing young people and other seasoned folks, just like you all. And I want you to know about Yemeka. So Yemeka is like many of us young Nigerians hustling in, in Lagos, trying to overcome hardships here, but make something not only for ourselves, but for the country as a whole. Yemeka, she, she does two things here. One is she helps local business owners, early stage tech startups, achieve high growth so that they're primed and ready to compete globally. Additionally, she shepherds in to the Lagos tech ecosystem international investors. So why? So that we can have a prime opportunity for foreign, in, foreign investment. But I want to share with you all Yamika's story around her name and what it means to her. Please show the video. I know why Yamika. Whenever I say, "Oh, my name is Yamika," someone always people always say to me, "That can't be your full name." <laughs> Because they know that with Africans, we name our children, you know, like substantial <laughs> names. So there's a real strength in knowing your identity. Your name is such a big part of your identity. Understanding your name and your roots and your heritage and your culture is so, so vital to becoming as successful as you could ever be. Because you have to be 100% confident in yourself and your ability and where you come from to then project that to the rest of the world. So, I personally agree significantly with Yemeka's points having the confidence to understand your roots, your heritage, and allowing that to spearhead the work that you do and the impact that you make. Yemeka and I also spoke more about candid realities here in Lagos, Nigeria. But she mentioned that her name, the one that means victory that surrounds her, gives her the audacity and the energy to power through. Why? Because her purpose is to make these young entrepreneurs and early stage business owners ripe for who? The international investors that she's shepherding to Lagos to drive foreign investment into this country, which I doubt anyone here would disagree that we need. But to have confidence in your name is somewhat of a journey. She attested to that, but I can as well. So maybe you can tell by my accent, I was raised in the United States. And some of you may or may not know this, but growing up in the US, California to be exact, being African wasn't exactly cool. The kids didn't get it, and so my name stood out. It wasn't always accepted. Additionally, teachers and colleagues would pass over my name because it was too difficult to pronounce. They'd call me abbreviations, letters, alphabets, uh, di different letters of the alphabets, but never my full name. That makes an impact on you. In many cases, I contemplated, should I change my name? Should I abbreviate it to make it more convenient or to assimilate? But even here in Nigeria, my name is often debated. My lovely taxi drivers. I tell them my name is Erikan, and they say, Ah, oh, Erika, you're Americana. <laughs> no, sir, I am Nigerian. Or I say, My name is Obot Etukuro, and they tell me, Oh, you are Congolese. And I say, No, sir, I'm from Akwaibom State. But I understand that some of you all may have had some interesting, pivotal journeys with your own name, and you contemplate these similar questions. Maybe even someone's mispronounced your name or misspelled your name, and you question, is it worth it to correct them? Should I assert myself in this mo moment? If I change my name, will I get this job? But I've chosen to get in front of it. It took some time, as I mentioned earlier. And so today, I use my name as a conversation starter, an entry point into the world that is who I am. My name is Eri Ken, and it means victory comes from God. Obot et Ukuro is my last name. Obot et Uk and Udo, those are the first three families in my lineage, my ancestors. And my name traces me back to this beautiful continent of Africa and Nigeria, the Ibibio people of southern Nigeria. Put it all together. Put it all together, and my name is my anthem. Victory comes from God. It's my family tree, Obot et Ukuro. 
And together, it's my compass. If I ever get lost, my name will lead me back home. So by default, us being here in this room means that we have ambition, we have tenacity, we have the ability to see into the future, see how we can imprint ourselves, take ownership of what we offer. And by doing so, undoubtedly, we will have a tremendous impact on the next 10, maybe 50, and 100 years here in Nigeria, but guess what? Also across Africa and also globally. So as such, my beautiful brethren, for us with our names, let's get excited about them. Because guess what? All the common names that we know today need to move over. Because there's a new emergence of common names, and they are your names. Chinedu, Emeka, Babatunde, Selassie, Jalika. By looking into your name and to those of others around you, you're accepting your future as we guide you through that destiny. Thank you, everyone.